Hello there, I'm Chris and this is UK House Prices. UK House Prices is a comparison site that shows you how the house prices in different areas of England changed from 1996 up to now. It's based on government data released on data.gov.uk and I was asked to build this as a demo for the release of this new website by the UK government. So all you have to do at UK House Prices to find out how the prices changed in a certain area is pick from this list of predefined areas here. So just type the first character and I'll show you the different areas in England that I have information for. This might change in the future. I hope that I will get some information from Scotland as well, which we don't have at the moment, so I'm very sorry about that. So say I want Oldham, I just click this here, and then I can define the time period where I want the information for. Predefined here is Q3 2008 to Q3 2009, but if I want a more a longer time period, all I have to do is use this slider. I can also go back into the past, I don't, don't have to go up to Q3 2009 all the time. I then hit see house prices, I get a loading message so I know something's happening and I will get this bar chart here that shows me how the prices changed over the time. I can hover over the bar chart to get the information at that point in time. So 114,000 at Q4 2006 and 109,000. So it actually went down a bit which is quite uncommon. I've got a map here as well where I can see where this area is and I can download this as a CSV in case I want to open it in Excel or I want to send it to a friend of mine. The other thing I have here is current property listings in this area, which are powered by Nestoria. And if I click through them, I go to the Nestoria page and actually you can ha get these houses and see more information about them. If you don't want that kind of information, just press the hide button here and it will not show up anymore. If you want it again, press the show button to see it again. What you can do here as well now, if you enter another area, say for example Rugby, this one will load above the other one. So if I keep the same time period, I can compare them side by side, or one above the other in this case. So I can see like Q3, 150,000 here, and 109,000 here, and so on and so forth, which is quite handy if I want to see just how certain areas are. And that's about it. This is about UK house prices. What I also done for you is add UK house prices as an application to the Yahoo homepage. So if you have that already on your home page in Yahoo you can see that something uh, that the UK house prices application is available for you here on the left hand side and if we open that I'm just shifting it around so I don't have to have a bigger video here you can see that the information is more or less the same so you have a hard-coded version of this here which reloads every time you load the application and if you click the search for prices uh, button then you get the search interface like you would get it on the home page itself so I can look for rugby here as well select it from the drop-down and I can say give me Q1 1996 to the other location here. I didn't use the slider here because it might be harder to actually use in this interface. You click to see house prices, it loads it and you get the same information that you actually get on the full home page. And you can share this with your friends if you wanted to, so you click them here, share your key house prices and tell them about the website. And this is actually all I wanted to talk to you about. So ukhouseprices.com with dashes in them. So the URL is actually this here. See you there.